Hello guys, so today's vlog, join me as I dive into head-to-head -head comparison between, specs comparison between the new Canon R5 Mark II and the Sony A9 Mark III. So these two uh, best mirrorless camera in the market, this hybrid mirrorless camera in the market. Did you know that the Sony A9 Mark III and the Canon R5 Mark II have more differences? than their brand name. So let's uncover the surprising truth behind these two powerhouse camera. So guys, before we jump into the 10 differences of the Sony A9 Mark II, Mark III, compared with the Canon R5 Mark II, let's check first why the Canon R5 is here. The Canon R5 Mark II, it's better to buy in 2024 than the a Sony A9 Mark III. So first, uh, you have already waveform. Uh, we have already waveform and the on the R5 Mark II, which is uh, for uh, brightness of your monitor in the video. You have eye control, autofocus, which is only you can see in the Canon R3, and uh, you have 45 megapixel. Again, 45 megapixel compare for 24 megapixel of the Sony A9 Mark III. Um, you have uh, maximum native ISO, which is 51,200 compared for 25,600 of the Sony A9 Mark III. Uh, focusing point, you have already 5,940 uh, compared for 759 of Sony A9 Mark III. Uh, maximum video resolution is already 8K or 8,192 by 4,320. Compare for uh, 3840 by 2160 of Sony A9 Mark III. You have already top LCD screen and you have also peak shift high resolution mode, which is 400, and the focus stacking. So, this is the uh, reason why the Canon R5 is better to buy than the Sony A9 Mark III in 2024. And so, guys, let's uh, jump into that conclusion the 10 uh, big differences of the Sony A9 Mark III or 10 big difference specs than Sony A9 Mark III than the uh, Canon R5 Mark II. So first you have already gyroscopic stabilization on the Sony A9 Mark III. You have auto framing in video. So only in Sony you can find this one. Sony A9 Mark III, um, I believe the Sony ZB-E1, uh, ZB-E1, uh, 6700, I think an A7C2. Yeah. Uh, you have a auto framing again number three is the global shutter this is already a global shutter camera number four tilt and flip screen so not only just uh tilt screen it's also tilt and flip i think it's yeah only tilt and flip so you can tilt and you can flip <laughs> yeah so number eight you have already one over eighty thousand one over eighty thousand electronic shutter compared for one over eight thousand only for the uh, canon r5 80,000, that's a lot, guys, for electronic shutter. Uh, again, um, the continuous shooting burst mode. This is 120 frames per second. Imagine 120 frames per second. Uh, continuous shooting burst mode compared for 30 frames. Uh, burst mode only for the Canon R5. Uh, focus mapping, you have already in the Sony A9 Mark III. Insect tracking, number 8. Number 7, again, number 7 is focus mapping. Number eight, insert tracking autofocus. Number nine, it's the viewfinder resolution. It's 9,440K dots compared for 5,700K dots of the Canon R5 Mark. Uh, Canon R5 Mark II. And the last one, the last is the weight. So this is more lighter. The Canon, the Sony A9 Mark III, it's more lighter than the Canon R5. 5,679 grams over uh, 746 grams of Canon R5. 5 mark 2 so again let's repeat guys first you have a number one gyroscopic stabilization number two auto framing number three you have global shutter number four tilt and flip screen number five is the sh electronic shutter which is one over eighty thousand number six is the continuous shooting burst mode is already 120 frames compared for 30 frames uh seven is focus mapping number eight insect insect tracking autofocus number nine it's the viewfinder resolution is 9440K dots compared for 5760 dots of the Canon R5 Mark II and the weight which is 678 and 746 
So that is the 10 difference um, differences between the uh, Sony A9 Mark III compared for the Canon R5 Mark II. So again, guys, again, uh, they have also a uh, similarity regarding for the specs. Uh, both these cameras have zero black viewfinder, lens uh, breathing correction, anti-dust shutter mechanism, unlimited video recording. You have also dedicated suite from photo and video or uh, still or video, free shooting buffer, wireless and Bluetooth connection, censorship image stabilization, fully articulated touchscreen, face detection focus, microphone and headphone port, environmental sealing or weather sealed, a full-size HDMI port, focus bracketing, two storage, CF Express Type A for Sony and Type B for Canon, of course, and UHS-2 support, uh, smartphone remote and digital stabilization, webcam function, anti-flicker, eye tracking focus, vehicle tracking focus, and both these camera have no uh, built-in papa flash. So, yeah, guys, I think that is a uh, comparison between uh, the two camera again. These two cameras is amazing camera. So again, guys, for me, I will leave to you which one is perfect for your needs. Either you go with the Sony A9 for your sports photography, wildlife photography. I'll go with Sony A9. But for video, I will go with Canon R5 Mark II. But again, R5 Mark II is also um, best for photo. 30 frames is more than enough. But depends on you guys. Uh, either you like the style of the Canon, the color of Canon. If you like the style for Sony, the color for Sony, then... It's up to you which one, but for me, both this camera can uh, can have a same uh, style, shooting style, and you can use for any of uh, types of photography or for your video. So, yeah, guys, I think that's it for today's vlog. Again, if you want to check the price and availability for these two products, you can visit our website www.abworld.com. All the Sony and Canon R5 is pre-ordered to our website. Hanggang dito na lang guys. Thank you and mabuhay.